and a big night for Steph Curry, of course, winning the finals MVP. He is at the podium right now. Let's check in with Curry. You get goosebumps just thinking about, you know, all those snapshots and episodes that we went through to get back here individually, collectively. And uh, that's why I say I think this championship hits different. That's why I had so many, so many emotions and still will just because of what it took to get back here. <clears throat> and the fact that uh, when we started this season, you know, a lot of conversations about who we were as a team and what we were capable of and um, clearly remember some experts and talking heads putting up the big zero of how many championships we would have going forward because of everything that we went through. So we hear all of that and you carry it all and try to maintain your purpose, not let it uh, distract you, but you carry that, that weight. And to get here, it all comes out. So it's, it's, uh, it's special. Vince on the left. Steph, Vince, good old y'all sports. Uh, along those same lines, a couple of seconds left, you hug your dad. You kind of just disappear off the floor. You I blacked look like out you, for a second. For you sure. look like you were in tears. You, you hugged them. <clears throat> Is, how comfortable are you with those, like you said, letting those emotions out in that way? Was it, I won't say overwhelming, but what was the emotions like? It was definitely overwhelming. It was surreal just because you know how much you went through, um, you know, to get back to the stage. And nobody, unless you've been on that floor, you know, just grinded day in, day out. I was kind of talking about, uh, you know, it, 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 just me personally, my my workouts from all season last year when we lost in the play-in tournament, it's been a year and six days that I started the process of getting ready for this season. And uh, it all paid off. Didn't know how it was going to happen. Didn't know what the environment's going to be like. You imagine what the emotions are going to be like, but it it hits different. So, um, you know, out there on the floor, I mean, I, saw, I even know he was down there, to be honest with you. I saw him, and I just lost it. And I know that, it would, you know, the clock was kind of running out, but I um, just wanted to take in the moment because – it was that special. David on the left. <clears throat> Steph, Dave Aldridge with the uh, athletic behind left of the trophy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. One of the uh, one of the great traits of all championship teams is talent, of course, in coaching, but it also is stubbornness, just being stubborn. And can you describe the level of stubbornness that your core group has had the last three years? Mm -hmm from Clay coming back from the injuries to let Joe spending whatever it takes to you, you know, continuing to revamp and challenge yourself to be still great and Draymond kind of re reinventing himself too. I like that word because <clears throat> kind of what I was talking about, the narratives that you hear going into this season, uh, especially and coming off the two years prior where we literally had the worst record in the league. We had a lot of injuries. And then, uh, <clears throat> you know, scratching and clawing, trying to get through the playing tournament, to just get a playoff berth. We definitely had that mentality that our belief and faith in what we can do, and our we kept saying it all year, our championship DNA and the the, the leadership of myself, Draymond, Andre, Loon, Clay, uh, Draymond, all that stuff mattered. And you carry that through the three years, not knowing how it's going to end up. All you can do is control that belief and behind the scenes and how you show up every single day, you embody that. And then when it comes time to taking advantage of an opportunity, things click. Uh, <clears throat> I remember two months ago, I was injured. We were sliding in defensive rating. We kind of limped our way into the postseason and we clearly said like we we have to peak at the right time not knowing what our rotation was going to look like not knowing what the chemistry was going to look like because that's what the situation called for then we did like it's crazy to think about <clears throat> um all that talk paid off so manifest your your destiny in a, in, a, in a certain way and that stubbornness of like who we are matters more than what anybody's saying about us is why we're here last question for steph in the middle Daniel Bell, BSO. Um, 
do you feel like this one means a little bit more? I know you said it hits different, but do you feel like like different better given everything that you guys have been through and all the the everything that was said about you guys over the last few years with the injuries and you missing time, Clay missing time, you guys coming back? Is this just a a better feeling than the past ones? I mean, this. <laughs> Uh, the moment when you get it done is different, but or it's all, all sorry. That's comparatively, it's all kind of the same because you're letting out all your emotions of the year, and you know you know you're the last team standing, and you're celebrating a championship. But I say this one hits different is because those you know from 15 to 19, it was kind of a, a steady climb to get into the championship, and whether you won or lost, you kind of just left it all out there. Then you go through these last two years and conversations, narratives, we're too old, you know, the uh, parallel timelines of developing young guys and keeping our core together, all those tough decisions that we had to make. Um, that weighs on you for as much time as we were going through it. And then you get to the point where you're in a playoff series against, you know, Denver and then Memphis and then Dallas and get to Boston and it's like, we're right here and it's surreal and then you get to the finish line and uh that's why i think this one is definitely different because of just the three years of baggage we carried coming out of that game six in 2019 <clears throat> and uh i mean i can say it now but i don't know how many teams could carry that for as long as we had with the expectations of you know comparing us now to teams of past and uh and make it to to the mountaintop again so a lot of people in that in that locker room that are enjoying this to the fullest and they should um because of you know who we are as a team it's pretty pretty amazing thanks steph <clears throat> Absolutely. and you're listening to steph curry your yeah. nba finals mvp as once again the warriors taking home that championship and there to witness us all was Vern glenn live in boston at the td garden Vern. Just an emotional night for Curry, breaking down at one point at the end of the game. What was it like there? Yeah, I remember that moment. He was breaking down toward the end of the game, and then right after that, Draymond Green had to come over and remind him, hey, man, you, you, you got to play defense. And so <laughs> it just kind of like woke him out of it, and then, and then he did. 